going. So, it's been a little while since so we've talked some actual fishing and kind of had some discussions about what's going on in the fishing industry. But, who knows, too quiet without that music. We need to have a discussion about what the heck's going on, guys. So, here in Michigan, we're getting some changes. We are starting to get that colder swing coming through. And it's got me thinking about some baits, right? It's got me thinking about a few things that uh, we probably should have a discussion about. So I'm going to go ahead and flip screens and you guys can kind of check out what we're saying here. So one of my favorite things to do in the early October, um, September, August um, kind of sections of the, of the year are jerk baits, right? A lot of guys think about jerk baits as kind of these colder water things. Uh, but here in Michigan, man, if you throw them a little more pace, a little rapider, um, kind of make them actually move around, then, you know, something like this shadow wrap is really going to nail it. Uh, these, these baits are absolutely phenomenal. I love these things. I had great luck with them. Uh, they seem to catch fish, and they seem to actually hook up and stay hooked up. Which is, uh, which, which can be a problem, right? If you if you fish jerk baits at all, you know these little tiny hooks can be a hard uh, hook to kind of keep in and keep planted. So those jerk baits, right? I'm throwing stuff like that around, something like uh, eight feet of water, looking for where there's still a little bit warmer trends with things like rocks, stumps, uh, things like the things that can stay warm. And we're gonna see that what we're doing later. Um, we're gonna use some of these techniques and some of these, we're gonna have some of these discussions uh, while we're playing this game actually later. So if, if that's not working for me, and I need to move a little quicker, uh, there's another bait that I reach for a lot, and it's gonna be a square bill. So this is a Livington square bill. Uh, this is a fantastic square bill. I think it runs really well. Uh, it gets to about uh, four to six feet or so with like eight pound fluorocarbon. It's a good crankbait. Circuit board lip definitely gives it an edge in a lot of ways. Now, the problem you're running into with something like that is going to be a lot of times these things just get hung up, right? Crankbaits get hung up. It's an issue. So, a lot of times, if that's the case, and let's say the bass are up near docks, um, up in the shallow areas, the spinner bait definitely becomes my go to. And a painted blade spinner bait for me from like mid August all the way through early October is going to be what I'm going to reach for. I don't know what it is about that painted white blade, especially with uh, white and silver on each side worked extremely extremely well for me now if for some reason the fish just are pushed up into pads or they're up into a little spot that i can't quite get to with a, a, a spinner bait crank bait jerk bait something like that i'm gonna throw a jig but there's two jigs that i'm gonna reach for so the first is a fairly lightweight small profile dock jig uh, basically a swim jig if that's not quite doing it and you go a little bit deeper um, let's say there's warmer water a little bit down um, in like I don't know 10 feet of water right because there's sand and some concrete well something like that freedom jig is super awesome that thing lets me really Move the bait around. It has freedom of action because, you know, the swing head. And, you know, Berkeley's got them now. Stray King's got them now. So the swing head is definitely coming into its own. But there's one technique that year round, dude, absolutely for me catches them. And, and I kind of feel weird talking about it. I'll be honest with you guys. Um, it's a uh, drop shot. Just a drop shot. Little tiny baits. A little, uh, little uh, two and a half, three, four inches, you know? You know, it's just, uh, it's stuff that, that I throw that it might not be huge, you know, fish biting this thing, but it's going to allow me to actually chase fish 
and kind of get into a rhythm. Um, if I'm not catching monsters, that rhythm can make a huge difference in the attitude of the day. And I feel like I can go out and just straight up catch fish, right? If I had to go out and just catch fish, throw that drop shot, that power minnow, and I know I can do it. Uh, that said, you know, like they, they might not be huge, but they are fish. And that's what we're after, right? So let's go ahead and take some of these quick discussions that we just had and take it into the game. Let's go ahead and get this rolling. Yeah, there's been some classic Bassmaster games out, huh? Alright, let's uh, check this out. All right, so the first turn we have is the College Series event on Toledo Bend. Um, fairly confident. I think I've played enough of this to have an idea of where the heck I need to go. <clears throat> so I'm hoping that we can just rip right off and jump right on them. Welcome to the Bassmaster College Series event. Our anglers are ready the for takeoff, so let's join them on the water. Alright, so I do believe it's this point right here where I was absolutely stacking them up. Yeah. Alright. Uh shoot, let's do like I was saying, they don't drop shot, man. Give it just a nice little nice little nice little what's up, you know? Oh, um, I'll be honest with you, if your drop shot looks like that, you're doing it wrong. Goodness, look at all those fish. Look at the drainers. They have bass. I kind of rule with bass fishing. Right? If you see a stump, throw to it. Oh, it's that effing. No, you know what? I don't even want, I don't even want you. Break my hook. Get, get, get out of here. Yeah. Is the thing just hooked too well? Slip the hook, my guy. I'm I'm trying to feed it back to you. It's no jerk bait. It's not. Okay, that, yep, uh-huh. Hook. Hey, 
Like, I feel like this game is, like, significantly different with controller. It definitely has some awkward with the mouse and key. Ooh, would you look at that? Oh, you an absolute hydrilla gorilla. Hydrilla gorilla. Hey, that was. That is a sense. Yeah, I'm gonna go ahead. Make sure we get one of those screenshots. That's a that's a good fish. That's a real good fish. Twitch, twitch. Okay. He'll stop and go. He'll, 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 he'll Senko. Yeah. Throw, throw a Senko on in there. <laughs> The thing with these games too is like I know there's fish here. It's gonna drive me insane knowing there's fish here. They're just not biting. Yeah, cause fish will be going to concentrate on a Cinco. That's that's what I want. Try that. I don't think that's actually gonna help or anything. That one bass. Is, yeah, there's two bass. Two bass. Ah uh, ah uh, ah. Uh. Jerk bait did work though, right? Like sight fishing. The worst part. Yeah, I've only got 40 lures. What do I do? Don't think that that bass is going to bite. Yeah, I think I'm gonna stick to that drop shot maybe and kind of soak that for a second and, and see if that, oh my goodness, I mean they're schooling right there, you know, um, I don't know, I guess maybe we'll back off. And we'll throw a, uh. What do we call it? Uh, crankbait of sorts. B2. We'll, we'll go with a medium one first. We'll see how that does. Overpowered, of course. That's my biggest point with game, those dudes. Like, there's no action to lures whatsoever. It's like, they completely forgot. That the lures move in the water. Oh. What? What? 
Get out of here, crappy. Smile. He was like, eh. Yeah. Oh, three pound crappie. Good lord. All right. Let's try a lung cast and see if we can hit shore. Dude, I didn't even. just throw that one spot on shore because like good grief I mean our average ain't bad right our average ain't terrible if you think about it the two fish for 16 pounds I mean we're doing okay. Oh yeah, they're good grief. Got full swing of the arm too. Hey, Fallen. You call that one. Nicole fish. Fine. back there it's stuck on the boat I can't even there we go dude being left-handed like I have to like let go of my mouse the boat's just spinning now that's actually pretty solid for a sim on a fish and getting it off the hook and your boat's just spinning in the middle of the water. That sounds about right. It's like once you figure out the spot, like there's no real reason to go anywhere else by the looks of it. Like a bass. Like 
crappie. Yeah. Bass and the crappie look awfully similar in this game. I don't know how I feel about that. Six minutes, we got a pretty healthy lead. Did they give me five? Is that five? Oh, no, it's a white bass. Get out of here. That's a good one. I, I want to get that one, I think. Do not like that moaning. Not oh, fish way smaller than I thought it was. Cold water, but that fish has some shrinkage. We're we're gonna need a a, a wow. measuring stick somewhere here. The small one. Big one right there, though. Or something, see if that helps. A little like a little bassy. Look at the crankbait, really, though, it's kind of doing it, though. All right, let's uh throw it at square bill. There we go. Oh, yeah, pull, pull that. Must be a freaking monster. right? Fight. Not gonna set any records for with a that five pounder, one, but at least it's a good solid keeper. And that was that fight. Good grief. I don't know this game. Let's go back to the weigh in. Wait, penalize? I know. Well, 
dang. We'll throw out here for the last second. Where is that even? Oh, okay. It's the best cast I've had. Oh yeah, right down in that grass, that square bill. Just dig it on in there. Pull it. I mean, I think we have a pretty lead. I think we're doing okay. bag on the scales and find out where that places you on the leaderboard. Let's hear it for your fast master. Yeah, I think we had a pretty, uh, pretty healthy lead there. <laughs> yeah, I think that uh, wraps up, boys. Already had the victory on that. That was first attempt. Call that good. I'm going to hop on out of here, get to bed, and see you guys tomorrow.